up fam welcome back to the studio here just wanted to jump on here and make a really quick just short video um, I've been running out of space on these shelves for a long time I wanted to share how I've been kind of coming up with different display options for the boxes because I like to display the boxes as well um, other than putting all of them down here I had to do this to get them off of these shelves over here because these two shelves are a little smaller I need to get bigger shelves for those two so I can kind of put the boxes up behind there um, but I do have a couple ideas for moving some of the boxes over there I'll show you how I hang these I've been using um, if you see these if you see these boxes back here they're hanging on the wall and that is let me show you here and you can probably see it a little better right here see the 3m tape there on the corners that one's got a tape on the corner there. Those little 3M quick release things. I get them from Walmart or Lowe's or anywhere that sells that stuff. You can put it on the corners on the back side. Just stick it on the wall. And whenever you're ready to release it, just like I said, just pull that little thing and it comes out. It does scar the box just a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, it's just a little easier way to display them. I'm probably, I need to get some more of it so I can, I want to lift this box up and put some more over here and I can move some of the Ninjago stuff back kind of behind there just to kind of fill that empty wall space so I'm going to work on that for a little bit and I will I'll, I'll come back in here in just a second and show you what I got done here they are this is what I use uh, command poster strips uh, damage free hanging I couldn't find a bigger pack than this but this is 16 of them so that should do 8 bucks well, I'm only going to hang a couple so so let me do that real quick and I'll come back. I'll actually use this box here as an example because we're about to hang it. Uh, that's the little 3M quick release stuff. If it'll focus. There we go. It's got a wall side, which it says actually wall side on it, and then it's got a red side. That's the side you'll stick to the to the box. And I just take them and stick them in the corners right there. And then we'll take and peel that off. Now it's ready to stick. And these boxes are pretty light. They'll hold a pretty good bit of weight. Now we just need to figure out where we want to put this box at. And I don't know. So, probably over there. Underneath the X-Wing we did last night. Let's see here. If I can do this. Just... If I can stick it right there. I will be seen then. I like to see those boxes too. There we go. Stick it right there. That looks level. And then just give it a little push. Not too much to don't give it too much of a push to crack your or to squish your box there. But like I said, they're pretty. They're on there. They ain't going nowhere. Some of these have been hanging for a while. Some of them been hanging for a long time. I think the first one I did was the space station box. That thing's been there for a while. I'd say at least a couple months. So it ain't fell yet. So I'm doing pretty good. All right, let me move some of these Ninjago ones over here, and I'll show you. As you can see here, I got a couple of the Ninjago sets, kind of fill that empty space. Um, I still want to kind of go through and kind of redo the boxes. Might do that another day. I want to kind of fill in that space there, and then some of that space over there. I'm trying to keep the background kind of full of boxes too. Now I have a couple empty spaces over here, which that's okay. Um, I need to get some more hanging stuff anyway, so it's okay. It's good enough for right now. But yeah. That was how I hang my boxes, guys. If you have any questions about anything else in the video and how I do stuff, leave them down below there. Don't forget to like and subscribe for us, and we'll see you in the next video.